Thank you for joining us for today's teaching for the Young Living Personalized Websites, the website for those who want to be a diamond. Hope you enjoyed today's teaching and remember to check back often as we will be continuously posting videos. Have a great day. Back on. Hi there. Today we're going to go ahead and learn how to change the photos on the front of an end of our website. Now we've already done a video showing you how to change the slideshow photos. So the photos we're actually talking about right now are these three photos right down here. Now if you've ever heard me talk about these photos, the one thing I always try to tell everybody is that don't just change them to change them. Make sure that it's going to go with relevant content. Like right now, all three of these go to videos from Young Living Corporate that will explain more about the oils and you know you want it to have information that if there's only a few things that you could tell somebody when they come to your website and if that front page is the only thing they ever see these are the things that you would want them to know so whatever you change it to make sure you kind of keep that in mind but we're going to go ahead and change these and we're going to show you how to do that today so you can begin to customize your website so we're going to go ahead and go into our back end and of course if you've already watched the other videos you know how to get into the back end now the place where these three videos are excuse me these three photos and wording let's scroll down so you can actually see the wording too so the place where these three photos and writing are held at is right under here under extensions and then we're going to go to module now the, the side is a module, those three photos are a module, the testimonial with um, Gary Young there, that's all right here in the same area, modules. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on all. And the reason being is because I wanted all the modules listed. Now you're going to see a whole bunch of new ones here if you've had the update um, that are all in red. Those are things that we'll go over later. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to go down to the promo area. And that's what that position is. It's promo, 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 promo. So these are three promos. And so we're going to go to that promo area. Learn the first steps promo. Now that's the one with the picture right here. And on the front end, it looks like this. On the back end here, if we scroll down, this is what it's going to look like. So to change the picture here, now right now I have it linked to go to a video. So if I click on this picture and click on this link right here, you'll see the link that I have it to. Okay, so again, if you're going to change these, make sure it's pointing to relevant content. Maybe you've got a different video you'd like it to point to. Maybe you wrote a blog, you know, maybe your blog's fantastic and you want to put a photo there and you want somebody to go to the blog instead. That's fine. Just make sure it's good content. Now the photo itself, one thing you want to keep in mind is the size of the photo for the promo area for that area. Your photo size needs to be 371 wide by 175 tall. 371 wide by 175 tall. Now, you know, to size photos, there's a whole bunch of different programs that you can use. I personally use Fireworks. It's an Adobe program. And, um, you know, honestly, to buy Adobe programs can be pretty expensive, but they've got this neat little thing now. It's called the Adobe Cloud. So you could actually buy all the Adobe products, Photoshop, Fireworks, and all of that um, for a small monthly cost. Well, actually, the entire package, I think, is like $49 a month. But you could just get Fireworks by itself for, I believe, $19 a month. And... I highly recommend it. I mean, if you're going to start doing, if you ever see those photo things on um, Facebook and stuff like that, where they have a cool photo and all the of the essential oil and all the writing and stuff like that, you can easily do all of that in fireworks. And they have great tutorials. Oh my gosh, you could just be the most creative person you've ever known with that. So um, again, I use fireworks. I recommend fireworks, but there's a lot of other programs out there. There's even free programs out there that'll let you size photos and change things. So you know, just look around and see what works for you. But again, this photo right here, width needs to be 371, height 
175. And what we'll do is to change one of those, let's say you want to change that first one right here. You're like, ah, okay, I, I like her, she's nice, but that's not what I want there. Well, what you would do is you just simply click off that and then go back and let's hit center align so you're back over here. And let's just insert a different photo. So if we come down here to image, if you've already got a photo in, that you'd want to switch it to, you would just choose from here. But if you don't, you'd scroll down to choose your photo and you'll hit open and you'll start to upload. And then it, when you have your completed photo up there, you will have a message that says upload complete. Then you just want to simply scroll down to choose the photo that you just uploaded. So let me find one of the photos that we have uploaded that is the correct sizing. And here's one. So I'll put that there. And now suddenly you see this different photo here. Now, to change the writing underneath, you simply just erase that writing and write this is my new great block. And if you just hit erase and do that, it'll still turn blue. If for some reason it comes out like this, all you have to do is just highlight this. And we're going to scroll up. And I've actually got this under heading three. Now, if you look at the font down here, this just says paragraph. But if I highlight this, it's under Heading 3. And that's what you want. You can pull this down. You can change different headings. But Heading 3, I think, seems to work the best in that area to make it look the nicest. So that's why I use it. And then we would just hit Save. You come over to the front. And there it is. This is my new great blog. Now let's say you want to link your blog to it. You have wrote this great blog, you've got the photo there, great, now let's link our blog. So we're going to go over to the blog area, or maybe it's a different article you want it to go to. Maybe you want it to go specifically to the seed to seal, or you want it to go somewhere else. This works no matter where you're at, but all you have to do is just click on the article that you want it to show up to, or the video, or where you want that. And right here, just go ahead and copy this address. This is called a URL, just in case you don't know, because you'll hear me say go to the URL. This is a URL. It's the address for the website. And then you will go ahead and come down, click this photo, and I just uploaded another photo and, or another video and it's telling me it's up. Great. Okay, so you're going to make this turn blue and then when you make it turn blue, just hit the link and then paste your URL in there. Hit OK. Hit Save. And when you go over to that front page now, it is going to You see the new picture. This is my great blog. You see how it goes like that. You click on it. It now goes over to the area you want it to instead of that video. Now remember, if you're going to change these, make sure you're changing it to do to relevant content, something that's important, something that makes sense. Don't just, you know, oh, this picture looks pretty and this is because the, the reason for those photos is to draw your customer in, draw people in, so they read more about it, they watch the videos about the oils, they want to sign up, they want to get the oils in their hands. And so just remember that that is the whole intent of those, you know, photos right there. So just make sure your um, content is relevant. Now, one thing I'm going to do, since I don't want to keep it permanently like that, is I am going to go ahead and change it back. So I'm going to show you how to do that. 
Okay, I've erased the one photo and I'm clicking on the image and we already know that it is in here. Oh, uh, let's see. It should be this one. There we go. And so I've got the photo in there. And I'm going to erase that and just say learn the first steps. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go over to those videos. And I am going to. And this is where the videos are. So I'm going to copy this URL and I just happen to know that I put an anchor in there which we will have another video with anchors and anchor actually let me just quickly tell you an anchor is going to when you put an anchor somewhere when somebody clicks on something it will take them to that specific part of a page not just the page itself but that specific part of a page so if you look at this page this video is actually pretty far down so if I just take it to the front part they'd be like well that's really weird it doesn't match but if I put in an anchor when they click on that front end this is what it's going to look like so I believe I remember what my anchor was called so I'm going to paste that URL in there again and then I'm going to put a number sign that shows that it's an anchor that I've created and I believe I called the anchor convention convention so we'll see we'll see if I've got that right hit save now we'll go and look and see what that anchor was called sometimes it's nice to use anchors because again you might be directing somebody to a part of your page and it's not going to do them any good if they're lost on that page okay so see more cells back and if I click on that if I did the anchor right I did it goes directly down to that part of the page instead now quickly show you an anchor let's say on your blog easy blog or let's go to an article let's actually go to your seed to seal article let's do that one and I know this is making your video a little bit longer and you don't have to watch this if you don't want to know this yet so but if you do want to know how to make an anchor explain what I just did you can keep watching seed to seal and let's just say that you want somebody to go specifically to the seal part of this so if you look at it on the front end you'll see the article as this but let's say you specifically want somebody to go right here to seal you want that to show up not the top part as much so what you would do is right next to that is you would create what's called an anchor and put your cursor where you want the anchor to be so I'll scroll down again so I want my anchor to be right here okay then we're gonna go ahead and click on anchor which is right here see that anchor we'll call the anchor seal and we'll hit OK and we'll hit save and close okay so now let's go back over to that area that we were at and that's in module manager and it was the promos that we were looking for now let's say you're looking for something specific and you don't want to fish through all of this you can look for things specifically by the position that we're in and those three photos are all in the promo area so it makes it a lot easier to find it let's open up learn the first steps and let's just click that photo and say let's just want it we want it to go somewhere else we'll open up that address part let's copy the address to the seed to seal and we're going to paste that in let's hit okay 
Let's hit save. Now when we go over to our front end, I'm going to show you the difference of what happens when you don't have an anchor and when you do have an anchor. So let me click on this photo and it's now going to go over to the seed to seal. Okay, that's nice. But what if I wanted to go down specifically where I said I wanted to show up more down here, not at the top. I'm going to simply open that link back up and at the end put a number side and whatever I named that anchor. I named that, I believe I named the anchor seal. Yeah. So a number sign and then seal at the end of it. Now I'm going to hit save. I'm going to go back over to the front end of the website and we're going to see the difference of what it looks like. So when I click on that, now it drops down specifically to that part. It's not showing it straight from the beginning. So I hope this video has been help helpful for you in showing you how to change those um, photos on the front end. And as I said, they need to be 371 wide by 175 tall. And you know, a great place to get photos, if you don't have photos and you don't want to use the ones off the Young Living Flickr site, which Young Living allows us to use the photos off Young Living Flickr, but if you want different photos, go to 123rf.com. You can buy photos there for super cheap and way cheaper than some of the other places. And they've got great photos. So, you know, you can use that place too to get more photos and redesign your site. Because the reality is, when you start changing some of these photos, it just makes the site look completely different. And that's a really neat thing. So go ahead and give it a shot, play with it a little, see how you like it. Um, again, have some fun with it. Make your site your own, you know. It's a great site already, but you know, you want it to be your own, so go for it. Have some fun with it, and we'll see you on the next time uh, with our next video. Have a great day.